The world's fashionistas are gathered in London right now for the fall 2015 collections. And joining us from London with Fashion Week highlights is WSJ's senior style reporter, Elizabeth Holmes. Hi, Elizabeth. Thanks for being with us. Hi, Tanya. Are you having fun out there? I am. It's a beautiful city and a lot of great fashion. Great. So tell us, are you just seeing a riot of 70s flower power? Yes, so we've continued the trends that we saw a lot of in New York, which is a heavy emphasis on the 70s. And, you know, shows like Burberry, there was a lot of suede fringe. Designer and CEO Christopher Bailey said he wasn't necessarily inspired by the 70s, but it was more about sort of the craftsmanship and the workmanship involved with embroidery and beading and things like that. But we're in this very loose, very relaxed, very sort of uh, voluminous vibe for this going forward for fall. Gorgeous stuff. I just wonder how I'm going to translate that to the office, but I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure it'll happen. All right, did the 80s make any kind of showing so far? Yes, there was a big moment at J.W. Anderson. We were all sitting waiting for the show to start, and then all of a sudden all these metallics came down the runway, and there were these, like, slouchy boots and sort of geometric shapes, and everybody's like, wait, what? Are we looking at the 80s here? And sure enough, we were. And he had said, you know, there was that, that decade is known for some of its tackier fashion, but he said a lot of great design came out of that, and it was a, a moment of inspiration for him. Lovely. Yeah, I could do the 80s again. Why not? But, Elizabeth, what about <laughs> color? Are you seeing a lot of color this year? So it sounds kind of trite to say color is in, but color is huge for fall. And it's not just sort of the expected colors of orange or maybe hunter green. It's a lot of great pastels. There's pinks and blues and purples. And it's a real colorful moment that I think retailers are really responding to because that kind of stuff looks great in the store windows and it brings people into the store. Ah, gorgeous. I love color. I've been waiting for color to come back. <laughs> this is one of my <laughs> best things you've told me all day. But just moving away from the clothes for a moment, we noticed that some of the biggest name models are being spotted in the front rows, but not on the runways. Yes, so it was really interesting. Cara Delevingne is a big name over here, and she sat front row at both Topshop and Burberry, two retailers that she works with a lot. There was also Naomi Campbell. She walked in late to Burberry, if you can believe it. <laughs> they started the show without her and then kind of snuck her in. And then there was Kendall Jenner front row at Topshop. You know, she's sort of a model of the moment that she walked the runways a lot in New York, but she was seated for the Topshop show here. Is there? Do you think there's a strategy behind that, or do they think these brands think they might be getting more press by putting the models in the front rows than on? The runways? Yes, there's a lot more chances to take their pictures, not just the, the cameras that are there, but all the social media paparazzi <laughs> like myself. I'm guilty of that. But then also they can show a little bit of their personality. Cara was singing along to some of the songs. Kate Moss was jamming out at Burberry. And so it gives the, them a chance to show off a little bit more rather than just, you know, walking up and down the runway. Absolutely. All those op opportunities for selfies. Thanks so much, Elizabeth. Anyone else that stood out to you so far? <laughs> Uh, Air Dem was a really beautiful show. He's really known for his craftsmanship, and he had a really elaborate set that was sort of Hitchcockian in its disarray, and he talked about a woman who's kind of coming unhinged. It was a really beautiful collection. Sounds like a lot of drama there. Well, thank you so much, Elizabeth. Have <laughs> yeah. fun at the rest of the shows.